welcome back to our channel now today's question is hr profiles may be created for multiple employees using conditions and criteria in which module and the options are option a create human resources profile option b create new case option c generate hr profiles option d bulk cases and the correct option is option c my next question is user authentication and instance restrictions are example of what type of security and the options are option a physical security option b roles and groups option c contextual security option d platform access and the correct option is option d my next question is if the hr service does not have any case option specified hr documents must be manually generated for the hr case in this situation who is able to generate an hr document for the case and the options are option a any hr professional option b only an hr admin option c only an hr manager option d only the assigned to person and the correct option is option c when does the hr template populate information on the hr case form and the options are option a when the opened for person is selected when the assignment group is selected option c when the hr case type is selected and option d when the hr service is selected on the hr case creation form and the correct option is option d my next question is the hr profile table is used to track information for what employment types choose three options and the options are option a other option b potential employee option c full time employee option d temporary employee option e spouse and option f contractor and the correct options are option c d and f next question is if the hr sd application is scoped why can the system administrator initially access all hr applications after the plugin has been installed and the options are option a when the hr plugins are installed the necessary hr roles are added to the admin role option b the roles were manually granted by a service now security user option c the admin will always have access to all hr tables and data option d the roles were manually granted by an hr admin and the correct option is option a next question is scenario you have an existing itsm customer who is now implementing hr enterprises in uat they discovered that they get an error message about a read operation from an hr scope to the global scope being denied you have verified that each script include was written correctly what else must be done to allow the script includes to work in the hr application and the options are option a the status of the associated record on the application restricted caller access list must be set to denied option b you must create a custom acl to allow the script include to work option c the status of the associated record on the application restricted caller access list must be set to allowed and option d you must change scope for the script includes to work our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment section 
We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.